Okay, in the last lecture, we have discussed some of the examples or some practice problems. Today, we will discuss some more practice problems. So, determine the gain of following circuit for V i greater than 0 as well as V i less than 0, assume diode is ideal. This is the basic circuit. This is V i. This is diode. This is the output. This is R one, R two, R three. This diode is ideal diode. So, to find out the gain which is V naught by V i, gain is equal to V naught by V i. First, let us consider V i is greater than 0. Because this is a inverting amplifier, if V i is greater than 0 implies V naught is less than 0. So, that for the diode, this is the diode, here this voltage is V i which is greater than 0, this voltage is V naught which is less than 0. So, what happens to this diode? Diode will be forward biased. and then acts as a and hence acts as a short circuit. Therefore, what will be equivalent circuit? This is the equivalent circuit. So, this is R 2 this will be short circuited and there is one more resistance here. is V i R 1 R 3 and R 2. Now, R 3 and R 2 will be in parallel that will be the feedback resistance and this is standard inverting amplifier whose gain is minus of feedback resistance divided by the input resistance that is R 3 in parallel with R 2 divided by R 1. This is equal to minus R 3 R 2 by R 1 into R 3 plus R 2. See the gain of the amplifier if V i is greater than 0. Case 2 if V i is less than 0. this implies V naught is greater than 0. So, what happens to this diode? This is less than 0 at anode, at cathode voltage is greater than 0, implies diode is reverse biased. And hence acts as a open circuit. So, now what will be the equivalent circuit? So, 
so this is R1 Vi this will be grounded so this is R2 but here this is open circuited this is R3 so because of this open circuit this part will not be there simply R3 will be there in the feedback resistance therefore what is gain simply minus R3 by R1 this is the gain with Vi greater than 0 and this is the gain with Vi less than 0 so next example is determine the gain of the following circuit see this circuit in the feedback instead of having single resistance there will be a delta network assume that op amp is ideal unless otherwise it is mentioned we can assume that op amp is ideal this is say R1, R2, R3, R4 let us call this one as I1, I2, I3, I4 now to basically find out the gain closure loop gain which is V0 by V. So first uh, we will assume that because the op amp is ideal this is 0 volts because this is ground point and the current here is 0, current here is 0. So what is the expression for uh, I1 from here to here this is Vi this is 0 volts so Vi minus 0 by R1. implies I1 is equal to Vi by R1 but what about I2 so this current is I1 the, en the entire I1 will flow through the this feedback path because the bias current is 0 so imply this is also equal to I2 let us call this voltage as say Vx then what is the uh, expression for Vx in terms of Vi so basically here all the currents and voltages I want to express in terms of Vi and Vi0 so that finally we can take the ratio of Vi0 to Vi ok so in order to find out Vx in terms of Vi if I consider between this point and this point the current is I2 in this direction so I2 is given by this is 0 volt so 0 minus this is Vx volt Vx divided by R2 implies what is Vx is equal to minus R2 I2 but what is I2 from this equation 1 this is equal to minus R2 by R1 times Vi this is equation 2 this is expression for Vx, this is expression for I1 and I2. Then coming for the I3, I3 expression is this is the current direction, this is ground to Vx, so I3 is equal to 0 minus Vx divided by R3. So this is equal to minus Vx by R3, but from this second expression, what is uh, Vx? 
minus R2 by R1. So, minus of minus becomes plus R2 by R1 R3 into Vi. So, this I1 is also function of Vi, I2 and uh, Vx also function of Vi, I3 is also function of Vi. I4 is nothing but this is the direction of the current. So, this voltage Vx, this voltage is V0. So, Vx minus V0 by R4. Finally, we want uh, V0 implies I4 into R4 is equal to Vx minus V0 or V0 is equal to Vx minus I4 R4. See here we have to substitute this Vx I4 in terms of Vi. So, what is I4? If I apply at this point uh, KCL, Kirchhoff current law, I2 is entering, I3 is entering, I4 is leaving. So, I4 is equal to I2 plus I3. So, from equation 1, we have I2 is equal to V i by R1 and from equation 3, I3 is equal to R2 by R1 R3 times V i. Now, we substitute phi in 4. So, what will be V naught? V naught is equal to V x. V x is nothing but from 2 minus R2 by R1 times minus R2 by R1 times V i is V x. This then minus I4 is this times R4. So, minus of V i by R1 plus V i into R2 by R1 plus R3 whole thing into R4. So, if we take V i as common, what is V naught by V i? This is equal to minus of R2 by R1, this minus, this minus becomes plus because I have taken outside. So, this V i also have taken outside. So, what is left plus? 1 by R1 plus R2 by R1 plus R3 times R4. Or otherwise, you can express this in a simplified uh, form as gain A V is equal to V naught by V i. This is equal to minus of R2 by R1. 1 by R1 is common at both the places and R4 is also multiplied. So, we can call as R4 by R1 times 1 plus R2 by R3. This is the expression for the gain of the given circuit. We will discuss uh, some more problems on uh, finding the input uh, resistance or input impedance. of inverting amplifier. We have discussed about the voltage gain, but uh, not uh, the input resistance of the inverting amplifier. 
so the inverting amplifier is basically this this is R1 RF the gain we have obtained as minus RF by R1 but the input impedance is if I look into here the input resistance if it is a non resistive network consisting of the inductors and capacitors also then it is called impedance basically ri is defined as this input voltage divided by input current if i assume that input current is ii ri is basically vi by ii here what is ii this voltage is 0 volts so vi minus 0 divided by R1 it implies I i is equal to V i by R1. If you substitute this here, R i is equal to V i divided by V i divided by R1. Simply R1. So the input impedance of this inverting amplifier is basically this resistance that is why in the design you have to choose R1 value very large otherwise input resistance will be less and it is going to uh, load the input source. Okay. So, we will take some other example on finding the input resistance. Input resistance of following circuit. This is somewhat uh, complicated circuit. This is VI, this is R1, this is feedback resistance. This V naught. There is one more feedback resistance from here to this is R three. This is V i. I if we take this ratio, we will get input resistance. This is say R one. This is R two. This is also R two. This is say two R one. Then what is the input resistance? If I look into here, R i. What is the expression for this R i? Let us call this node as A node, this is B node, this is C node. And this is input voltage V i itself and this is output voltage V naught. And if I call this current as I 1, I 2, I 3, then you call this one as I 4. So, what is the expression for I 1? I 1 is equal to V i minus this is 0 V i minus V a divided by R 1 this is equal to V i by R 1 since V i is 0. Now, what about I 2? this I 2 here because current is 0 this current is I 1 so I 2 is equal to I 1 this is equal from here to here this is 0 volts that is V A in fact minus V B divided by R 2 but this is equal to minus V B by R 2 because V A is 0. So, if I equate this to this is also I 1 this is also I 1 that implies V i you divide by R 1 is equal to minus V naught by 
R2. This is one expression. Now, from B to C, what is the expression for I3? Vb minus Vc divided by R2. That is equal to Vb by R2 because Vc is 0 because of this virtual ground concept. Similarly, this here the, the current is 0, so the entire I 3 will flow through this one also. So, if I write down another expression for I 3 between C to output V naught, V C minus V naught divided by 2 R 1, this is equal to minus V naught by 2 R 1. So, this is equal to V B by from here because this to R I 3 minus V plus V B by R 2. So, in place what is V naught? V naught is equal to minus this is V B minus 2 R 1 by R 2 into V B. This is expression 2. From this equation 1, what is V B? minus V B by R 2, this is V B, this is V B by R 2, this is V I by R 1, I 1, this is also I 1, V B by R 2, V B by R 2. So, implies what is V B? minus R 2 by R 1 times V I. If you substitute this here, what is V naught? V naught is equal to minus 2 R 1 by R 2 into V B is minus R 2 by R 1 into V i implies V naught is equal to is R 2 R 2 get cancelled R 1 R 1 get cancelled minus minus becomes plus 2 V i. This is expression for V naught, but we are interested in uh, input resistance. This is one expression which is third expression the relation between the V naught and V i is V naught is twice V i, but we are interested in input resistance R i. So, if I take this I i as total current, a part of this one flows through I 1 plus other part flows through feedback path R I 4. What is I 1? Is V i minus V a which is of course, 0 divided by R 1 plus this is V i, this is V naught and the resistance is R 3. So, V i minus V naught divided by R 3, this is equal to I i, I will keep I i as it is. This I am going to express in terms of V i, so that input resistance R i is equal to V i by I i, I want this expression. So, I i this side, this side I have to express in terms of V i. So, what will be this? Then this is equal to V i, V i is 0, V i by R 1 plus V i from this 3 V naught is equal to 2 V i. So, this is equal to V i minus 2 V i divided by R 3. If I take LCM, what will be this one? So, this will be R 1 R 3 LCM, V i is of course, common. So, R 3 plus this becomes V i minus 2 i is minus V i of course. So, minus R 1 times this one, this is I i. Therefore, what is R i equal to V i by I i is equal to R 1 R 3 divided by R 3 minus R 1. This is the expression for the input impedance of the given circuit. So, if you want to have a larger input impedance, you have to properly choose R 1 and R 3. You have to choose large values of R 1 and R 2. You have to properly choose the values of R 1 and R 3. Okay. 
Next another interesting circuit is called negative impedance converter. Determine the input impedance of following circuit. See the input and feedback. There is the impedance. Here there is impedance. Here there is another impedance. Let this is ZP. This is Z. This is ZN, this is VI, this is V0. I have to find out the input impedance ZI here. Select this current is II, then the ratio of VI by ZI is ZI. So, ZI is nothing but VI by II. So, if I assume that this is I n, this is I p, this is I z, assuming that top amp is ideal. So, is I i is equal to I n because here the current is 0. So, the entire this I i will flow through I n. And what is the expression for this one? This is V i, V i and this is V naught. V i minus V naught divided by Z n implies V i minus V naught is equal to I i into Z n or what is V naught? V i minus I i into Z n. This is one expression. Now, if I take this I p expression. <coughs> I p is this, this voltage minus this voltage divided by Z p. This will be because this is of uh, virtual ground concept, this is because the uh, up amp is ideal, if this voltage is V i, inverting terminal voltage is equal to non inverting terminal voltage. So, this is also at V i. So, I p is equal to this V naught minus V i divided by Z p. And what is I z? This is V i, this is 0. I z is equal to V i minus 0 divided by z. And what is the relation between I p and I z? I p should be equal to I z because this is the current entering here as I p. This current is 0. So, this entire I p will flow through the I z. So, implies if I equate this to V naught minus V i by z p is equal to V i by Z implies what is V naught V naught minus V i is equal to Z p by Z into V i implies V naught is equal to V i plus Z p by Z times V i. This is the second expression. The first expression is also V naught, second expression also V naught you can equate 1 is equal to 2 implies V i minus I i z n is equal to V i plus z p by z times V i. This V i V i get cancelled. So, I want the impedance as z i is equal to V i by I i. So, what is V i by I i? Z i is equal to V i by I i that is equal to minus Z n into Z by Z p minus Z n by into Z by Z p. So, 
So, if I take the condition as z n is equal to z p, then what happens? Z i is simply minus z. So, this z i is simply whatever the z d is there minus of this z if z n is equal to z p. That is why this is also called as negative impedance converter called NIC. So, this can be used to realize the inductors also. So, if I take uh, another example based on this result determine the input impedance of following circuit. Message input Let us call this is R R R C and this is also R, this is V i. Basically, I want this input impedance Z i. There will be some input impedance at this point also. This you call as Z i dash. If I consider this circuit, this is same as the previous circuit, exactly same. Here Z n is equal to Z p is equal to Z. So, what is the input impedance of this entire circuit? Because Zn is equal to Zp, Zi is minus Z. That is whatever the connected here, that is minus of that, which is R. So, this Zi dash is nothing but minus R from the previous example. Because this is R and R. So, this total impedance is equal to minus of this resistance. Here, this is resistance. So, what will be the equivalent circuit now? I have Vi. This is minus plus and I have capacitor here, here of course you are taking the output V naught, this is R, and then here we have the equivalent resistance of minus R, this is C R V I and this is I I. So, what is total Z I? This is again the same circuit with Z i is equal to Z n by Z p into n. Z i is equal to minus Z n by Z p times Z. Here Z n is this, Z p is this and Z is this. Here in this example Z n is R, Z is minus R, Z p is 1 by Sc. So, if I substitute these values here, this is equal to minus Z n is minus R divided by Z p is 1 by Sc into Z is minus R. This is equal to S R square C. So, if I take the impedance of an inductor Z l is equal to J omega L or this is equal to S L. So, if you compare these two, so this will act as an inductor, this is one of the interesting result. So, here L is equal to R square C. Even though we do not have any inductor here, we can use this circuit to simulate the inductor, because it is difficult to fabricate the inductor in the ICs. So, we can fabricate the inductor in terms of its equivalent circuit. 
if I choose R is equal to say 10 kilo ohms, C is equal to 0 0.01 microfarads. So, you will get R square is this micro 10 get cancelled. So, what will be L? 100 into 10 to the power of 6 into 0 0.01 into 10 to the power of minus C. This is equal to 1 Henry. So, we can implement by choosing R is equal to 10 K, C is equal to 0 0.01 uh, microfarads. This circuit will simulate with the inductance of 1 Henry. This is one of the interesting circuit. So, we will discuss some more examples in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you.